Okay, so as I was planking up the lower deck, I almost forgot about this uh, little piece here that uh, fits in between these two ledger beams, I guess that's what they're called. But anyway, the point is that I need to cut this hole out. And obviously I don't have a drill bit that is this size. So what I did is I resorted to this uh, mill setup. And here I have a, a boring head. I haven't used this boring head in a long time. Um, so this is a Sherline boring head. So what happens is you had the bit here and this little Allen adjustment it holds the bit in place so you want to make sure that's tightened then this Allen adjust here what this does is when this is loosened it allows this bit to go back and forth and slide on this little dovetail uh, bar so you can get a pretty wide uh, opening uh, by adjusting that so basically what I did is I just eyeballed it and <clears throat> I just wanted to make a, uh, a little practice cut so what I have here is I'm just going to turn on the machine you see it as we go down we're going to try to go in and, and try to make a cut going to back out of this <clears throat> turn it off let's see what we have so you can see that the, the nature of this particular boring head is going to make a kind of a donut shape that's because this bit is traveling around in a circle as it cuts out so it we will continue to uh, control the z-axis so that it will finish uh, milling out the hole so usually what I do is I will put a piece of wood or something scrap piece under here so as I'm drilling through it will not fray out the bottom so in this case I'm just this is just a practice cut so let's just go ahead and go for it and let's see what happens No more chattering. Seems like to me that the hole has been punched through. So I'm raising up the z-axis. Turn it off. And now we can uh, see what we have. So go ahead and release this. Vice. And even without the, um, <clears throat> here's a little interesting little donut that it cut out. The other piece is somewhere. But actually, even without a board under here to keep the uh, wood fray down, it actually did pretty well. So, uh, now I can, uh, cut this out for real and and see what happens 
As a matter of fact, if this particular hole here matches what I'm working with, I might just keep this and just cut out the, the rectangular portion. So that's about it for now. Thank you for watching.